Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samir Ajawi. Under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity, Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and in the presence of the Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Environment, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, and the President of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, brief. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa crowned Khalifa Mbarak Sept from Al Fursan team as the champion of His Majesty the King's Cup for GCC stables for young riders, a distance of 120 kilometers, as part of His Majesty the King's Endurance Festival with the support of GFH Financial Group at Bahrain International Endurance Village. Khalifa Jamal Al Sindi from Al Fursan team won second place, while Hissa Al Mshari from the victorious team won third place. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser congratulated Her Highness Sheikh Anoura bint Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on Al Fursan team's first and second place victory. His Highness added that it was the result of Her Highness's support and follow-up. He has added that the victory comes as part of a series of achievements made by the team in previous participations and hailed the outstanding level of riders in the championship. His Highness also congratulated the first, second and third place winners. For her part, Her Highness Sheikh Anoura bint Hamad expressed pride and appreciation in the Fursan team's first and second place victory. She expressed appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser's continuous support for the sports of endurance races. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs has announced that it has begun implementing an evacuation plan for Bahraini nationals in Iran, including screening and quarantine procedures in response to the outbreak of coronavirus COVID-19 across several Iranian cities. The ministry has called on all the Bahraini nationals currently in Iran to register their details by calling the hotline number 1722 7555. 
the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, in cooperation with the relevant entities in the Kingdom, will take all the precautionary measures in order to guarantee the safety of the Bahraini citizens currently present in Iran before their arrival to the Kingdom. These will include all necessary preventative measures following their arrival at Bahrain International Airport, including screening and quarantine procedures in order to ensure the safety of the citizens and residents, as well as public health in the Kingdom. The Ministry of Health has registered two new coronavirus COVID-19 cases among a female Bahraini national and a female Saudi national, both arriving at Bahrain International Airport via indirect flights from Iran, bringing the total number of confirmed cases to 38. The Ministry highlighted that the patients have been transferred to a health center for isolation and quarantine and are undergoing treatment, noting that all the COVID-19 infected patients are in stable condition and receiving ongoing care from a specialized medical team. In line with the guidelines outlined by the World Health Organization, the ministry continues to screen all the incoming passengers from COVID-19 affected countries, monitoring them for 14 days to ensure they are virus free and do not pose a threat to the health and safety of the kingdom, citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health urges all the citizens and residents returning from Iran during February to self-isolate themselves immediately and call the hotline number 444 to schedule medical examination. The Ministry of Health also underlines its commitment to update the public on all the COVID-19 related developments, reiterating the importance of only receiving the information from official and verified sources. The Ministry further underlined the importance of following the health awareness guidelines aimed at combating COVID-19, noting that it is a collective national responsibility to ensure that the Kingdom remains a healthy, safe community for all. And the Ministry of Health affirmed that it continues to take precautionary measures to combat the spread of the coronavirus COVID-19. The Ministry of Health called on all the citizens of Bahraini society to follow the instructions they have been provided to ensure their safety and to avoid widespread of the virus. The Ministry affirmed that it, call, it has called upon all its caterers in coordination with other parties in the Kingdom to combat the virus. The Minister also affirmed the importance of following instructions such as washing one's hands with soap on a regular basis along with avoiding shaking hands, hugs and kisses. It also covers the covering of the nose and mouth when sneezing and avoiding public places when possible. The Ministry called on the citizens and residents to strengthen their immune system by exercising, eating well and drinking a plenty of water while ensuring that all scheduled vaccines are taken as per the Ministry's recommendation. Regularly and thoroughly clean your hands with an alcohol-based hand rub or wash them with soap and water. Why? Washing your hands with soap and water or using alcohol-based hand rub kills viruses that may be on your hands. Maintain at least one meter distance between yourself and anyone who is coughing or sneezing and avoid crowded areas as much as possible. Why? 
When someone coughs or sneezes, they spray small liquid droplets from their nose or mouth, which may contain viruses. If you are too close, you can breathe in the droplets, including the COVID-19 virus, if the person coughing has the disease. Crowds are unpredictable zones. Avoid them for now. Why? Hands touch many surfaces and can pick up viruses. Once contaminated, hands can transfer the virus to your eyes, nose or mouth. From there, the virus can enter your body and make you sick. This means covering your mouth and nose with your bent elbow or tissue when you cough or sneeze. Then dispose of the used tissue immediately. Why? Droplets spread viruses. By following good respiratory hygiene, you protect the people around you from viruses such as colds, flus, and COVID-19, also known as the coronavirus. Stay home if you feel unwell. If you have a fever, cough, and difficulty breathing, seek medical attention by calling 444 and follow the instructions given by the medical team. Why? The Ministry of Health has the most up-to-date information on the situation, which will protect you and help prevent the spread of viruses and other infections. The Ministry of Works, Municipalities and Urban Planning opened part of the new road leading to Bahrain International Airport in the presence of a number of officials and representatives from Bahrain Airport Company. The Assistant Under Secretary for Roads at the Ministry, Huda Abdallah Fakhro, noted that the partial opening is considered a phased progressive opening of Road 2403 prior to the full opening of the road in conjunction with the operating of the new airport terminal in March. She noted that the ministry completed all the major road works while currently implementing additional works on the project, such as a forestation and landscaping work on the sides of the road. <laughs> 